Who's Alan Turing? Alan Turing was an English maths genius. He was an early computer geek. He was a crypto analyst, an all-round brilliant guy whose incredible work saved a ton of lives in World War II. Nowadays, he's widely considered to be the father of modern computer science, even though he died before we had phones, computers, or even colour TV. So you've got to know about this amazing man and his work. So let's go back more than a hundred years to 1912, when Alan was born in London, England. From the start, Alan wasn't average. While other kids were playing ball or on the swings, Alan was reading science books for fun. He was serious and dedicated. He once biked 62 miles to school because the trains were on strike. Alan was super brainy, but he didn't really fit in. He liked inventing things and solving tough maths problems more than hanging out. Basically, he was your original quiet genius. At school, he was fascinated by how the brain works. He wondered, could machines think? He studied maths at Cambridge University and his ideas really took off. He wrote a paper imagining a magic machine that could solve any maths problem. This Turing machine theory was to be the blueprint for modern computers. Then, boom, 1939. Alan is 25 and war breaks out. Alan is picked for a top secret team at Bletchley Park, Britain's code-breaking headquarters. The Nazis encoded their messages with a wizard machine called Enigma. That's from the Greek word meaning impossible to understand. Alan's mission? You guessed it, to break the code and help the Allies win the war. Let's dive into the Enigma machine, which looked a bit like this. Imagine you have a secret code so you can send messages that no one can understand. The Nazis used the Enigma, which was a bit like a typewriter. Here's how it worked. You press a letter, like A, but the machine types a different letter, say G. And if you press A again, it might turn into X. It changed every time. You need a machine set up in exactly the same way to decode the message. Alan Turing built a special machine that could guess how Enigma was set up and therefore read the secret messages. Historians believe that his invention shortened the war and saved millions of lives. What a huge achievement. After the war, Alan went back to his own deep thinking, this time about computers. He worked on making his first idea, the Turing machine, into a reality. He was way ahead of his time. But life wasn't fair to Alan. When he was 40, he was arrested just for being gay, something that was against the law in Britain in 1952. So, instead of being celebrated as a hero, he was punished. He died two years later. It was a terrible loss and totally wrong. Today, Alan Turing is getting the credit he deserved in his lifetime. He received a royal pardon from the Queen, he's now on the £50 banknote, and he's recognised as the father of modern computing. In this high-tech world, Alan Turing's golden legacy is everywhere. So let's remember him with admiration and gratitude and say thank you Alan Turing. <laughs>